I think we'll see. And there was obviously a lot of discussion a few years ago in the US about Hillary Clinton and the likability or not of women and how different politicians, you know, female politicians have to behave. I think it'll be interesting to see how she's framed as a politician for that reason, because this conversation sort of has fallen out of the, the public domain a little bit. But when Theresa May was in charge, um, she definitely wasn't full of charisma. But no. there was an argument to say that perhaps because she was a woman, we expected more warmth from her or we expected something different from her. And there's not been much discussion about that with Liz Truss yet. But like you say, I haven't seen a great deal of charisma or warmth or anything really <laughs> yeah it's always a sort of bugbear of mine and i i always shit my pants that i'm gonna word this in the wrong way and it's gonna come out really clumsy which i'm sure it will do but i i always feel like when we get a woman in a position of power and influence whether it is uh, a commissioner of the metropolitan police or it's a Theresa may or it's a pretty patel somebody i mean look like, a lot of these seem to sit further right on the political landscape, but I'm I'm sure it could be true on the left also. Um, it's like we sort of put this woman in a position of power and influence and then give ourselves a pat on the back for giving the job to a woman. Then we've mm. ticked that box. But actually mm. the woman who has been given the job has been given that job by a bunch of men who have sought mm. out their own attributes within her. And so then this woman who gets the job tends to be, let's say, quote unquote, like a real ball buster or you know she'll really bang heads together or you know these sort of masculine take charge take control she won't take any shit all of that stuff rather than the other attributes that we tend to celebrate within women uh analysis uh uh care um you know like it's it's it always seems to be we've given the role to women aren't we so great it was like well, well hang on a second have you <laughs> What problem are you solving if you've just given it to somebody who still behaves exactly like you? Do you know what I mean? Am I making sense? Yeah. No, I, I think it's it's really interesting. And I think this needs to be spoken about a lot more. I often think about it in terms of the poor patrol because I've got two kids. Right. Um, so a lot of other children's programs, there's this sense that you have a load of action heroes within a children's program. There's normally four or five all of them are male apart from one which is a female and the female one wears the pink outfit right and whatever the program is Paw Patrol I guess is like the classic they've tried to introduce more female characters but the original lineup there was only one um you know there's the kind of the one who's the digger and the and the one who's the brave one and the one who's a bit of a class clown type of a character so the, all of the male ones have some kind of a persona and the girl just is the girl, like the, she's the girl one, and, and her, you know, her character is being a girl. Yeah. So she have a, a defining quality beyond she wears pink and she's the girl in the pack, right? And I think that that sometimes happens in other situations, and um, and you get this strange dichotomy, don't you? Where you're right, it's like a, women within politics, I think, still operating in a largely male environment and either has to behave like this sort of 80s caricature of what a woman in the workplace is or the the absolute opposite which is sort of has to pretend to assume all of these super feminist feminine not feminist feminine traits mm. it's like don't worry guys there's a nice friendly lady here you know yeah. that kind of, oh it's like really or, great or like 